Looking out across this pond where we've done some vegetation control last year, cleared up the edges, cleared up the vegetation inside the pond. It's a great fishing pond, nice gazebo access point down there, but they don't have power. And so on this particular installation for aeration, where the stick is sticking up, they've terminated a three quarter inch piece of PVC that they've run all the way back to this well house you see off there in the distance. And so this is a remote manifold aeration installation. So the compressor will sit over there by the by the well house where the power is, pump air all the way over here to the pond. Then we're gonna split it out into two different diffusers and install that in the morning, hopefully before it gets too warm. Hello, this is Ken Rust with Louisiana Pond Management and it is quite hot down here in South Louisiana today. And we have a pond back behind us that is stratified and uh, we've done some vegetation control on this pond last year, and cleaned it up and now they're ready to aerate. We've got everything set in place uh, this afternoon for a, a morning install, hopefully while it's cool. And then we're gonna bring this pond to life with a couple of diffusers out there, rolling that pond over and mixing that water, making it a uniform pH temperature and oxygen content throughout the water column. I was in a pond uh, just a couple of days ago and it was right at 93 degrees at the surface and as low as 69 degrees on the bottom of the pond. So you can get quite a, a, a big division in the the temperature ph and also of course oxygen content throughout one of these ponds in the hot summertime heat index today i'm sure is over 100 and uh, this pond is going to benefit greatly from it it's blue green algae that you see here floating on the surface some people say it looks like green paint floating on the top of the water and i think the same thing blue green algae is one of the things that we're installing this aeration system for in this pond and the reason is, is that uh, blue-green algae is not healthy for the pond and it's part bacteria, part algae. It doesn't produce a lot of oxygen and it can create toxins in your pond that make your fish taste bad at the very least and it can also be toxic to pets and even humans in certain conditions. When you add an aeration system like we're going to turn on here in just a few minutes, that is going to cool off that water and it's also going to create circulation and Blue-green algae hates circulation. They've cleared up whole lakes in Europe with the same technique, to, but today we're gonna clean up this three-quarter acre pond. Okay, so it is the next morning, and uh, we have uh, gotten our compressor mounted over here. You can see in back of me, we're up by the well house, and then um, way back here in the distance, you can see is the pond, and we're, uh, we're pumping air from this compressor box and we're sending it through three quarter inch PVC all the way over to the pond over there, about 350 feet uh, when I measured it on Google Earth. And so um, anyway, the compressor's up and running. Um, it's not quite 100 degrees yet. And we're about to go install the remote manifold and the diffusers. Okay, so we finally got our diffusers turned on in the pond, and you can see this uh, diffuser operating in about 12 feet in back of me, pushing about 2 million gallons of water to the surface per day. 
Um, if I only had cell, uh, had smell a vision out here, you could smell how bad the odor is coming off of that bottom water that's being rolled up to the surface. It uh, has been in at the bottom of that pond without contact with oxygen or the atmosphere for for uh, probably years. And as it rolls to the surface, it uh, creates quite a, quite an odor. We're oxidizing that water as it comes up to the surface with the uh, higher oxygen at the top of the, the water. We're gonna turn this off later today and only operate it for a couple of hours and go through a startup procedure over several days because as you mix this pond, you don't want that chemical oxygen demand at the bottom of the water to overwhelm the high oxygen water at the top and cause an oxygen crisis. At the very least, you would stress your fish and lower the water quality at the the worst you could cause a fish kill that you're hoping to avoid by putting in the aeration in the first place. You can see the uh, black water um, that's being bubbled up to the top there and it smells just like it looks. That's all for now.